Hi, it's Zai from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today book is Donald Duck Big Surprise from 1982. So let's get started. Mickey Mouse lunch party was over. Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie waved goodbye to Donald Duck. Thanks for lunch, Mickey, called Donald. Why don't we have a picnic at the beach next time? said Minnie. Great, come over to my house on Sundays, said Donald. We can drive to the beach in my car. Gosh, thanks, said the others. On Sunday, Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey set out for Donald's house, each of them carrying things for the picnic. What a great day for the beach, said Mickey. Dino was busy waxing his car. Here we are, ready for our picnic, said Mickey. I bought an umbrella. I bought a radio, said Goofy. And I bought lunch, said Minnie. But I can't go on a picnic, said Dino. But you promised us, said Mickey. Did I? Well, I guess I forgot about it, said Dino. I have a date with Daisy. We can have a picnic some other time. We will have to take a bus to the beach, said Minnie. The three friends waved goodbye to Dono, but Dono was busy polishing his car. He did not wave back. Soon Dono's car was clean and shiny. It is, a, but it is a, almost time for my date with Daisy. I must get cleaned up, said Dono. He went into his house. Dono washed his face, brushed his hair, and fixed his tie. Then Dono put on his hat. What a handsome fellow I am, he said. Donald hopped into a shiny car. Geez, it will be fun to take Daisy for a drive, he said. Soon Donald was at Daisy's house. Hi, Daisy, are you ready for the ride? I promise you, called Donald. But Daisy was busy playing cold crut. With her cousin Gainer. Oh, Donald, you said you would call me, said Daisy, but you never did. I thought you forgot about our date, so I made other plans. Well, I guess I did forget the call, said Donald. Come play croquet with us, said Daisy. No thanks, said Donald. And he drove away in his shiny car. He felt very sad. What can I do now, Donald thought. A sheet sign caught his eyes. The sign gave him an idea. Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy are at the beach, said Dino. I will go to their picnic. Dino felt happy again. He parked his car at the beach lot and went to find his friends. Dino looked around the beach. Then he saw Mickey beach umbrella. Hi, folks, it's me, Dino, he called. Hi, Dino, you came to the beach after all said Mickey. We were just wait, we were just going for a swim. Come join us. Thanks, but I fell tired, said Dino. I went I went to rest for a while. Dino sat down. His friend headed for the water. Have fun, Dino called to them. Then Dino spotted the picnic basket. Say, this lunch looked good, he said. I'll just try a cookie, said Dino. Then he tried a sandwich or two. Donald kept eating. Then he drank some lemonade. Soon Donald was full. He decided to take a nap. Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey came back from their swim. They were all very hungry. Wake up, Donald, said Goofy. Time for our picnic lunch, said Mickey. Geez, I'm not very hungry. I think I will go home now, Donald said. And off Donald went. Look, most of the cookies are gone, said Mickey. And no sandwiches are left, said Minnie. And someone ate the grapes, Goofy said. The picnic was over in five minutes. Dino is impossible, said Mickey. He ate our food and then ran off. 
He didn't even offer to drive us home, said Minnie. And then he ate all the grapes, said Goofy. Tired and hungry, the friend waited for the bus again. Dino never thinks of other people, said Mickey. He forgets his promise, said Minnie. He eats too much, said Goofy. We will have to teach him a lesson, said Mickey. Dino woke up the next morning in a good mood. It was his birthday. He jumped out of bed. He put on his best suit and hat. Happy birthday, he said to himself. This is going to be a great day. Dino looked out the window. Goofy will be here soon with the mail truck. He said, oh boy, I can hardly wait to get all my present and card. The mail truck came by. Wait, the mail truck came right on time. I had better go help Goofy, Dino said. His sack will be heavy with all those presents. But the mail truck went past Dino House when I was stopping. Hey, wait, called Dino. Don't you have any mail for me? No, not today, said Goofy, and he drove away. Those must be some mistake, thought Dino. I will go check at the post office. I'm sorry, said the postmaster, but there is nothing today for D. Duck. Dino felt awful. Why don't I have any mail, he said. It is my birthday. I will go see Mickey and, and remind him. Mickey was busy in his garden. He did not even look up. I can't talk now, he said to Dino. Come by some other time. Well, Daisy is sure to remember my birthday, Dino said. He ran to her house. Guess what day this said, Dino said. But Daisy did not even turn around. I am very busy now, Dino, she said. Dino walked sadly around the town. Why had no one remembered his birthday? He felt terrible all day. When evening came, he could see people talking and laughing in their houses. Everybody is having a good time, Dino thought, except for me. I might as well go home. Dino House looked dark and sad. Dino slowly walked up the steps to his front door. He pushed the door open. Suddenly, the lights went on. The room was full of people. Surprise! Happy birthday, Dino! Everyone shouted. They all had presents for him. Geez, I thought everyone forgot my birthday, Dino said. He felt very shy. We didn't forget, Minnie said quietly, but you forgot us at the beach yesterday. We wanted to show you how it felt. Dino hung his head. I'm really sorry, folks, he said. Well, we love you anyway, Mickey said, even if you are sometime impossible. Everyone shouted, but happy birthday to you. So that was Donald Duck, Big Surprise from 1982. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day with another video coming out real soon.